Hello guys, so I look kind of strange in the camera, but anyway, hello, um, I thought I'd do a little haul style video for you today, because I bought more stuff. Um, yeah, I bought some beauty stuff, and clothing, and a handbag, and yeah, I'm going to rock and roll and get started, because I have a few bits. I went to Superdrug Boots, m and Beauty. Primark and a shop called Select. I don't know if Select is kind of my area only. I don't know if it's the rest of the country or the world, but I think it's just literally my area, so I don't know. But um, yeah, they're just kind of like a little boutique type store. But yeah, I'm gonna get started. First of all, um, I'm gonna show you some bits I got from Primark, and I have worn a lot of it already, so it's kind of not in the bag, but um, I bought some maxi, gypsy skirts from there and um, one of them was a black one it was pleated I don't have it with me because it's in the wash if you can hear the tumble dryer going but um yeah it was a really nice skirt and it was £10 and I really really like it but this skirt which I've worn I haven't washed it yet because I'm dirty um this is another maxi skirt I have it the wrong way but it is just the nicest pattern it's elasticated waist and it's just a really nice kind of I want to say tribal, um, aztec -y maybe, Aztec tribal kind of thing going on. But it's two layered and it's got like, this is basically quite a see-through layer, if you can see me through that. And then you get like this black um, skirt underneath. But yeah, um, basically a really long, long, long skirt. Um, and it's got the turquoise and like the cranberry red burgundy colour and it's really really nice I think you could get away with wearing this kind of autumn because it's those kind of colours but yeah it's quite a thick skirt so um it's really really nice and this was £12 and maxi skirts they've got a lot of them in Primark so if you want a maxi skirt I would definitely go and look in Primark because they've got tons and tons and lots of different patterns and plain and whatnot they've got a lot um i also picked up some jewelry bits and they're not on their little plasticky things because i've worn them but um i picked up hair bands which i'm going to show you um this one is just a really nice kind of beaded um one and it's just the elastic one you put over your hair like so and this was like two pounds and it's just so so pretty i love the detail and the pattern and the colors I always picked up this one, which was £2, I think. £2 or £2.50 these were. Again, elastic, but it's just got this pretty kind of silvery, not silvery, um, gold, rose gold, pearl bead thing going on. And it's really, really nice and dainty and just pretty. I also picked up a pair of earrings, which I wore them um, yesterday, but they are so nice. And I would pick these up if they were in top shop in like 16 pounds but these were two pounds aren't these just like the prettiest you've ever seen kind of like this um, turquoise stone with the um nice blue crystal crystal should i say at the top but they were like two pounds can you believe that two pounds and they are totally me they're just i would as I said, I, if they were £16 in Topshop, I would have bought them, but they were £2 in Primark. Hello! I always picked up this, and it was on sale, and I kind of, I it was £2 from £4, and it's not really something I would sort of wear, but I just thought it was like the coolest thing. It's really like cheesy, but it's like these fake diamonds that you'd wear like here, and you've got these kind of multi coloured braids that are the chain that would go around your neck now i really like this but i just can't see myself ever wearing it but it was i couldn't leave it because it was four pounds down to two pounds so i couldn't leave it but the thing is i actually like these if i just took that off there i could make them into like little wrist braids and i just think that's so funky and so 80s i really like that so i think i might just do that and do something else with this, maybe make a bracelet out of it. I don't know, what do you think? <laughs> but yeah, um, I really liked this. I just thought it was so funky. 
I just didn't want to leave it and it was just such a bargain. So yeah, those are the Primark goodies. Um, I have um, stuff from Select. Um, I don't know if this is available anywhere else, but I got a humongous bag because I was looking past Select. I have never been in there before in my life. And I was, we was shopping, me and my hubby, and we stopped because he wanted to do something with his phone. I kind of looked up, we was outside Select, and I saw this in the window, and I literally went, oh, I have to go in. I was literally, you stay here, husband, I'm going in. Because they had something that is literally a dupe for something amazing. And I don't know if you'll kind of recognise or whatever, but it was this bag. Sorry for the loud noise, but if you know, is it the, is it called Mew Mew? M-U-I-M-U-I, -I, I think the range the brand's called. But this bag is basically like a replica of that bag that they sell, and this was 14 pounds, 14. And yeah, it's basically like a dupe for, I don't know what the bag's called, and it's got like bows on the side that are the same. It's kind of a dusky pink colour. Looks kind of caramel on my screen, but it's like a dusky pinky shade. And the zip here, you could flip this bit over. But yeah, it is, I will link a picture to that bag um, and sh that you could see like what this looks like in comparison. But this, I, I literally saw this in the window and I, ran into the shop and was like I'm not leaving without it because I just think it's such a dupe for the bag that I'm thinking and I think it's like normally about 800 pounds that bag 800 to a thousand pounds and this was 14 pounds so yeah I wasn't gonna like leave it it has a nice long strap as well and just like straps for carrying it so I was literally like I'm buying it yeah but also they had a dress in there which was quite nice. It's just a long kind of t-shirt dress with no sleeves and it's just this nice, it's really, really long. Comes down to about your calves, but this was 12 pounds and it's just a really nice kind of um, orangey, aztec -y, black, really dodgy on screen. It kind of makes your eyes go a bit weird um dress so yeah i really like that and i just thought that was like a little mini belt or something would be really really nice so yeah that's what i got from select for that on the floor um for um m s beauty i picked up something my skin was being a little bit dodgy it was a bit spotty you can probably still see some stuff going on i have some stuff on my jawline as well i won't go into it but yeah um I heard a lot about this product and I tested it in store and the smell of it was gross. I'll be honest, it was like, I don't know if I wanna buy you, you smell a bit weird. But it is this from Ren. Um, I, I'm gonna try and pronounce it, I'm gonna be wrong, but it is the Glycolactic, is that right? Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask. It was about 30 odd pounds, so it isn't, the cheapest product but I've heard that a little goes a long way and you don't use it all the time just every other evening but basically you put this on your cleansed skin at night for 10 minutes let it sit on your skin and you wash it off and go to bed basically and you just get this beautiful radiant skin in the morning so um, hopefully I will look beautiful young and 18 again when I use this so fingers crossed but yeah, um, I really like the look of it and the sound of it. So just not the smell. The smell's a bit strange. But yeah, um, another product I got from Women's Beauty is something I actually have put into my empties, the other bottle of it, because I've used it all. And I really, really like it. And it's the Tara Smith um, Base Coat Serum. Um, Tara Smith is kind of a England girl, British girl, so I say, who has made it big in the LA world for hair. And she has a lot of celebrity clientele, like Anna Frill, maybe? Is it Anna Frill? Yes. And Ralph Reese Fine, is his name? Is his name? Yeah. But yeah, um, I went to an event where she was in December when she launched her line into the UK shops and M&S. And 
she was really really nice and she was so passionate about her brand but um, all her products are vegan which I really really like and nothing in this bottle has been tested or come from an animal nothing literally it is vegan through and through so if you like products like that and you want to get into shampoos and um, styling stuff and even they have a hair gel that is totally vegan then I'll check out um, Tara Smith because yeah her range is really really good and it's not that expensive as well this was £14 and I picked up a tube of this in December time and um, this has only just run out for me and it's what August now so that is quite a long while and you just need one pump every time you wash your hair just run it through your hair when it's wet style it or blow dry it style it and you just don't really get any frizz it's nice and smooth mine's not particularly styled because I don't really do that much I just literally blow dry my hair and that's it but yeah um, this just is really nice products 14 pounds totally vegan yeah I really really like it a lot um, went to Boots I picked up some stuff for spots <laughs> And I also picked up a new bottle of foundation because I wanted another bottle because I was going out in the evening. But also I kind of picked up because I thought, wow, it's on sale. So it's cheap anyway. But then I saw it on sale and I was like, hey, I'm getting you. My Match Perfection by Rimmel was on sale from £6.99 down to £4.99. Can you believe it? £5. £5. Yeah, um... I love this foundation, I use it all the time, can't say enough about it, it's just amazing, I love it. But yeah, um, if you like a light to medium coverage foundation that gives you a really nice healthy look, then this is your baby. It's SPF 18 and yeah, I am the shade 100 Ivory, I'm promoting it, buy it people, it's lovely. End of. Continuing on, um, I also picked up some simple products. Um, I said previously I was having a bit of a problem with my face with spots, so I picked up these, and these are the Spotless Skin Deep Clean Cleansing Pads. <sighs> yeah, they basically are a pad that has kind of a I don't know if you can see, they have like a little bit of a raised surface, surface, surface on them. <laughs> And it kind of just um, exfoliates your skin and stops pimples and it gets rid of blackheads and just exfoliates you and it's really really nice. They're about five pounds but you get 60 pads in here so it lasts a good while. Um, just remember to do it off the lid because they are moisture little pads so if you don't do it off the lid and put it on properly they're going to dry out obviously. But yeah, I really like these. Um, so yeah, if you've got that kind of skin that just needs a little bit of a something and you're a bit blemishy, spotty, whatever, then I would have a look at these. Also from Simple, I'm loving Simple as you can see, um, I got this scrub. Um, obviously because I had blemishy skin um, it was more sensitive and I had some quite bad outbreaks on my face. It was, I'm not going to go into it, it's a bit of a horror movie. Teenager pizza face basically. Um, I needed an exfoliator. Normally I use my Botanics Microdermabrasion Polish Radiant Youth one. I've showed that before. That is quite a vigorous exfolia. Exfolia? Exfoliant, sorry. Exfoliant on your skin. So I didn't really want to use that because obviously if you've got outbreaks you don't really want to like be scrubbing the life out of them and irritating them any more than they already are. So I picked this up because it's quite gentle and um, natural on your skin and it has rice granules in it and yeah it's got pro vitamin B5, vitamin E, rice granules for exfoliating and no artificial perfumes, harsh chemicals and it was just really gentle on my skin and just felt natural and soft and yeah it was a nice feeling on my skin and I kind of basically got not as scrubs clean when I use my botanics but this was a close second and it's just very gentle on your skin so I liked that and I got those from Boots now my super drug stuff um, I have these in the bag because I literally got these yesterday um, 
I picked up. I've heard a lot about these and I was like, ooh, ah. Um, I heard that it's kind of good if you want to dry your skin after washing and everything. Not to use a towel because they collect bacteria, but to use a tissue of some sort. So I picked up these and these are the Kleenex um, facial cloths. And they basically are really thick tissue and I used one last night and it was really good oh throwing it on the floor um they look like this they're just a really thick tissue and you can probably really hear my washing machine right now on its final spin really loudly <laughs> but yeah um they're just a padded tissue and they keep really wet when you put wet products on them like a um solution like a marcella solution they get really wet and they just are nice and soft on the skin and um, I just thought I'd try those and that was about £2.50 or something for the box so quite like those. I also picked up a Witch Hazel um, Natural Clear Blemish Stick. Can you hear that? That is my washing machine. So loud. But um, yeah, um, as I said, I've got spotty skin so I picked up this I used to use this when I was like 17 16 like a baby but yeah I use this on my spots and it just makes them feel a little bit better I use them in use it in the evening when I'm going to bed and it just helps fight the bacteria that's in the spot and just it this doesn't make the spot disappear because sometimes I get like volcanoes on my face and it doesn't obviously make it go away like that but it just helps with the whole soothing and making it not so angry and it just calms it and witch hazel is really good for um fighting those um blemishes so i really like that and that was about one pound fifty so bargain um i also picked up a nail polish um, and i have it on my nails at right now and it is the salon pro lycra um, Rimmel nail polish and it's isn't she precious and it's just a baby pink um, nail polish which is quite nice I also picked up a peppermint one the other day because I used that and I was like I like you I'm buying more so I picked up this colour and it's really really nice so yeah that's the nail polish two more things I have another simple product um, I was really hot on the train so I picked up this and this is the Moisture Boost Hydro Mist from Simple. Basically the cheaper version of the Quarterly Beauty Elixir I think. But yeah it was marked down as well from £5 to like £3 so I was like yeah I'm getting you. But um, yeah a um, little bottle of water basically and you just spritz it over your face and it just moisture into your skin. It's very good for like if you're travelling on a plane or on a train and you just need that quick fix of moisture without having to put a moisturiser on your face really really good and the final thing I got which I haven't opened yet because I just wanted to show you in its packaging and it's baby lips um, we haven't had these in the UK until now so I was really excited to see this on the shelf and this is Cherry Me it's the red one so I'm excited to try this but um, yeah apparently you get um, healthier looking lips, they feel baby soft, less dry and they look visibly renewed. So yeah, I'm kind of a really soft baby lip soon. But yeah, those are all the bits I got. I'm going to try and stop shopping. It's an addiction, I can't help myself. But yeah, um, I will come back to you soon with probably another haul. Um, I would probably have to start a group of like Shoppers Anonymous or something. So yeah, <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye!